you're gonna prep this uh, opening right here. There used to be a bathroom door that opened in, gave us no, zero room. Uh, then we thought about opening it out, which wouldn't interfere with the bedroom. So we're gonna do a barn door, okay? You move the switch on the inside, so this has to get patched. I got some patching to do around here, but anyway, this will get patched. We're gonna put a barn door on, but before I put a barn door on, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to trim this jam, which is the flat part top and the sides of the door, and then put casing, which is the door trim, on the outside and the inside, have that thing finished, and then eventually, maybe your next video, I'll teach you how to install a bond door. All right, so I just got back from the Home Depot. I don't know if you've ever heard of the Home Depot, but they don't sponsor me, but I'm working on it. Anyway, so first thing, I grabbed a couple packages of shims in case I need them. This is a package of door trim. It's two packs, one for the inside of the bathroom, one for the outside. All right, I think it was 28 bucks. It's already primed. It's real pine. Door jam kit, okay? This is the two flat sides and the top, all right? This is made for a two by four wall, which the interior walls of my house are two by four, okay? So it's like four nine sixteen, so whatever it is. These are gonna go sitting on the flat, one on the top, and then the casing will wrap around both sides and make it look beautiful. So the first thing that I would do, or I would recommend, okay, is getting this top piece right here. So what I would do is take a measurement, 28 and seven eighths, check the other side, and then I will put a level on it, and if one side's higher than the other, I'll stick a couple shims in before I nail it. Makes that thing perfectly flat, so you're not looking at it like this. Picking the layup, trying to make sure it looks straight. Okay, get the top level, and then I'll take a measurement from touching that trim to the floor, or the threshold, whatever's gonna hit first, on both sides, because you may it may be off a little. You don't know about your floor, and you don't know about this header. You don't know if they're perfect yet. So, header first, level it, shim it if needed, nail it, and measure both sides, cut them individually, don't cut them the same, unless they are the same, but measure them first, then cut. Alright, so before I nail it, I made sure it was flush on either side. I had to tap it just a little, make sure it was flush on both sides. So when I put my uh, casing around this thing, it sits nice and flat against the wall. I ended up measuring both of these the same, because they were. Alright. Should be able to work these bad boys right in place. Okay. They fit right up underneath nicely. Okay. Like so. Alright, so if you look closely up here, the stud's a little crooked too, so I recommend getting the speed square. Hooking this thing on your trim, flat. Slide it over, and I don't know if you can see this, but there's a gap right here, okay? I want this thing to stay tight against my square so I know that it's square, so I take another shim, and I work this shim in until this square sits flat. It's flat against this back, tight all the way, and now it's flat against that side right here, I brought the trim out to touch it, and once the trim's touching it, I know it's square. Okay, so what I can do now is I can shoot this trim right here so it doesn't move, and I can work down and see if there's any other spots where the trim looks a little crooked and shimmer. All right, so my trim is going to sit flat on the wall. Okay, it's going to get a 45 degree angle cut right here, and it's going to line up on that corner right there. So I'm going to measure from the floor to my cross, that quarter inch in this way and quarter inch up uh, across. So from the floor to the cross, that'll be my short point. And then I'll cut a 45 degree angle up like that. And then on this side, do the same thing. From the floor up to my quarter inch mark, okay, that'll be my short point. And I'll cut it on the flat angle up this way, so 45 degree angles going opposites. And then my top piece will get 45 degree cuts this way, and it'll sit right inside of that. Opposites. Doo -doo -doo. I have the same measurement on both sides of it as well.
Check out my other video, how to cut 45 degree angles if you want to make sure you're doing that correctly. This bad boy goes in, it gets glued, it gets stuck in, it gets shot from the angle and then shot through the face. All right, so tight bond two. You can use any kind of wood glue, but I am using this one because I have it. Anyway, wood glue on your 45. Okay, totally recommend it because if you don't, you're gonna nail this thing up, and if you don't prime and paint it and cog it right away, it's gonna separate. And even if you do paint it and cog it, it might open up a little bit. So the wood glue will help it not open. All right, now I'm gonna use the brad nail. The nails are a little smaller, they're inch and a quarter. I'm gonna shoot this thing from the corner, like just like a picture frame. Voila! So, we will paint this, so what I'm gonna do, since it's already primed, I will caulk the edges, I will caulk in between the trim, there's little tiny gaps here and there, we'll caulk the whole thing and eventually it gets painted and everything looks beautiful. I just want you to know. Look at that. All right, there's my trim, floor to ceiling. Thanks for watching, Johnny Works.